Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I wanted to do a guide on how to fish monkfish on RuneScape. A lot of people will be advancing their finishing fishing levels and they'll realize in the upper level fishing they'll get to 40-50 and then realize that monkfish is an option and a lot of people buy monkfish on the Grand Exchange for um, just rent, uh, general healing because they're cheaper than sharks but still heal quite a bit. They heal 16 hit points which is pretty good and therefore as an Iron Man they're pretty a good staple. Not necessarily for bossing, it depends on the type of boss. Um, for Zora they're great um, and just for general slayer in combat. So I thought I would do a guide on it. So the requirements to fish monkfish are 62 fishing. We'll double check that. And you also need to complete the quest Swan Song, which is right here. I have it completed because I have all the quests completed. However, the requirements for Swan Song are pretty difficult. It's considered a master quest, not because the quest itself is hard, but pretty much getting the requirements for it can be pretty tricky. Um, the requirements to start Swan Song is um, you're going to need 100 plus points. 66 magic, which is boostable. You can get a wizard's bomb that will give it plus three, so you can get 63. 62 cooking, 62 fishing, which the cooking is also boostable and the fishing is boostable. 45 smithing, which is also boostable. 42 fire making, which is not boostable. 40 crafting, which is not boostable. So once again, 100 quest points, 66 magic, 62 cooking, 62 fishing, 45 smithing, 42 fire making, and 40 crafting. Um, the only boostable skills there is magic, cooking, fishing, and smithing. And you need to complete the one small favor quest and garden of tranquility. So that seems to be rather frightening for some people. Um, garden tranquility is not that bad of a quest at all. You just need to have a little bit of patience with growing the crops. And one small favor can be a tedious quest. However, um, it is worth it because you get two 20k XP lamps, I believe, in the end of the quest, which is amazing. You're also going to need some items required to complete one small favor. Um, so, basically, to start the quest, you are going to reach the Piscatorus fishing colony, and um, you're going to talk to, I believe, Herman Karanos, which is, he's going to be in this location of north, uh, near this hole, but he's not here because I have completed the quest, but there will be a guy named Herman, and he'll be out here. To get to this location, you simply, you're going to go, let's zoom out a little bit. So the best way I suggest is a Piscatorius scroll, which you can get from clue scrolls often, or simply from, um, you know, buying one of the Grand Exchange if you're a regular account. Another way is to take the Fire Ring AQR, or I'm sorry, AQ, no, AKQ, sorry, AKQ, and you can take the Fire Ring here and run up north. Another way you can do this is take the Eagles to Eagles Peak, and if you don't want to do that, what you can do is teleport to Tree Gnome Stronghold and run all the way up here you can also take a boat from this girl right here or you can teleport from Arduin or Arduin <coughs> excuse me run from Arduin and come all the way here and if you can't do that in the last method I would recommend is do Camelot and run past Arduin past Tree Gnome Stronghold and all the way to the Piscatorus fishing colony. Now another thing I want to say is this there's a falconer and a lot of hunting up here so a lot of lower level hunting is trained here and if you're familiar with the Kraken Slayer task the Kraken Slayer task is right here which makes sense because this quest has a boss in it a level 170 uh, Slayer Mon- or sorry 170 uh, Sea Troll Queen and um, she's very similar to the Kraken and you will need to check a guide on how to defeat um, the Sea Troll Queen, but honestly it's not that bad. You'll just need a pretty good melee weapon and some pretty decent stats. I did it at level 62 combat, however that was a struggle and I used a lot of prayers. So I really think 70 plus combat 
maybe 75 plus combat is recommended to quick complete swan song other than that the quest swan song is actually really short and easy to complete it's only considered a master's because of their requirements so we've entered the gate and all that and once you come down here there's a bank which is really nice arnold and basically some fishing spots a lot of people have their quest capes because they teleport here from the fairy ring and boom here you are fishing monkfish i have a strange fruit in my inventory because i simply got a random event another thing i want to say is after you've completed the quest something that's really nice if you have done the hard western province diary you get one teleport to the piscator's fishing colony per day and that's why people wield the banner so i hope that y'all enjoy this guide Fishing Monkfish is pretty decent XP. Fishing is relatively slow anyway. It's about 30k XP an hour. And uh, basically, if you want to AFK and get some great fish, that's great. Or if you want to sell it in the Grand Exchange. Um, currently, I'm going on 90 fishing on my Iron Man. And I've got 6.8k cooked or uncooked and 12k Monkfish cooked. So I'm definitely collecting my Monkfish all up and have had a lot of experience here. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to PM me on in-game. Uh, connect to me through my Twitch channel. You can private message me there or on my Facebook. Um, there are links on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this, you can go ahead and subscribe for more videos. and Or if you simply just want to like this, if this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching, guys.